What is up everybody and welcome back to the Maths Guide. Today we're going to be looking at division and specifically the short method of division. So let's waste no time, let's go. Okay, so the steps we're going to use today, first we're going to divide, then we're going to carry over any extra and then we will repeat until we're finished. So if we're looking at this first example, 532 divided by 4, what method can we use to help us? Well, we're going to use the bus stop method. Call it the bus stop because it's like the big number, 532, sits inside the bus stop and our small number sits outside. Now just for our knowledge, this number inside we call the dividend and the number on the outside we call the divisor. Now this might be a big number for us to do all in our head, so luckily we can use that old trick of partitioning the number, breaking down the number into smaller parts to help us do it step by step. And division is one of the only questions we're going to do where we're going to start with the biggest value. We're going to start with the hundreds column. So I'm going to put my hundreds, tens and ones in place so I know where I'm starting. And my first question is how many fours are there in five? But we've got to remember that's not a five, it's actually a 500. But that's okay because when we put our answer right here, we're already putting it in the hundreds column. So I can just simply work out how many fours are there in five. So if I have five circles, how many groups of four do I have? Well, I have one full group. So I'm gonna put my one up here to show one full group, but I have this one left over, I can't just ignore that. So I'm gonna carry over that to the next column, turning my three into a 13. Now my next question is how many fours are there in 13? Well, let's look at it a different way. I have four, eight, 12, 16. Okay, well I can't get all the way to 16, so I'm gonna have one group of four, two, three, so I have three, but did I have any left over? Yes, because there was 13 and I only got to 12, so what's the difference between 12 and 13? One again, so one left over. And that leaves my last question, how many fours are there in 12? And we know the answer to that because we've just done it, there are three. So my final answer to 532 divided by four is 133. Easy, let's look at a harder one. So same tips, this is just a bit more difficult, so let's see why. Put my bus stop in place, 789 divided by five. Ones, tens, and hundreds, and let's begin with how many fives are there in seven. Well, I'm gonna do this a little bit quicker now. There are one group of five and seven with two left over. How many fives are there in 28? There are five with three left over, because we get to 25, so I have 26, 27, and 28, so there's three left over. And then my final question says, how many fives are there in 39? Well, if I go up my five times table, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, I can get to 35 with seven groups, but I can't get to 40 because that's too many. So I have seven, but then I have some left over, but I have nowhere else to go in my question. So what am I gonna do with these remainders? Well, I simply have to put remainder four because I have four left over. So my answer is 157 remainder four. Still simple. Here's your turn. Here are two questions for you to have a go at. Take your time, follow these steps, and then put your answers in the comment section. I'm gonna try and mark every single one. Good luck. And there you have it guys. That is how to use the short method of division to solve division questions. Hopefully this video has been helpful. If it has, join us at themathshelter.com where you're gonna find loads more videos for your year group. But for now guys, see you in another video. Peace out.